find the first order partial derivatives for the function f of xy is equal to 2 times x raised to the 5y. Now again, looking at our function, we see we have two independent variables. So we will have two first order partial derivatives. Now I love this example because depending upon which partial derivative you are computing or trying to find, it changes the type of function that you're differentiating. So here we go. Let's start with finding the partial derivative of this function with respect to x. So again, it's crucial to keep in mind, what am I differentiating with respect to? So here we are differentiating with respect to x. So in this case, we will treat y like a constant or like a real number. And we're going to differentiate as if we have a single variable function. So we are going to differentiate with respect to only x. So here we go. To indicate to us or to really emphasize what am I differentiating with respect to, we have the d dx. We are differentiating with respect to x of this originally given function. So this is equal to d dx of 2x raised to the 5y. So we have the partial derivative of the function with respect to x. Now, looking at our function here, we have x raised to the 5y. But don't forget, we are treating y like a constant. So we have x raised to some real number. So if you have x raised to a real number, what differentiation technique do you use? The power rule. So when we differentiate here, this is going to be 2 multiplied by the exponent, so that's 5y, multiplied by x raised to the 5y minus 1. That's our power rule that we know and love. Of course, we want to simplify this final answer here. This is going to be the partial derivative of the function with respect to x is equal to 10y times x raised to the 5y minus 1. So this is our partial derivative of the function with respect to x. Now very similarly, we want to go ahead and find the partial derivative with respect to y. So we are finding the partial derivative of this function with respect to y. And as always, it is crucial to keep in mind, what am I differentiating with respect to? So here we're differentiating with respect to y. So in this case, let's keep in mind that we treat x like a real number or like a constant. And we then differentiate as if we have a single variable function. So we differentiate with respect to y. So here we go. We have, or we're going to, take the derivative of this function with respect to y. So we have d dy of our function, and whatever we do to one side, we gotta do to the other. We are differentiating with respect to y. So here we have 2x raised to the 5y. So we have the partial derivative of our function here with respect to y is equal to 1. Now, again, let's keep in mind, because we're differentiating with respect to y, that we are treating x like a constant. So this x is a real number. So you have some real number raised to a variable. So what type of function would that be? an exponential function. So let's keep in mind, we need a little bit more room. Let's keep in mind, what is the derivative of an exponential function, a common exponential, not just a natural exponential? So let's say or recall, 
that if we are given some function, say y is equal to the exponential base a raised to the u, and this is where u is some differentiable function of x, and our base a is an element of the real numbers such that a must be greater than zero and not equal to one. So you have some common exponential base a. So what's the derivative? Well, we differentiate this common exponential base a using logarithmic differentiation. And so this leaves us with the derivative dy dx is equal to, we have the original exponential a raised to the u multiplied by the derivative of the exponent with respect to x, so du dx, multiplied by the natural log of the base. So this is that differentiation rule for your common exponential function base a. And again, in order to attain this differentiation rule, we used logarithmic differentiation. So now that we have refreshed our memories on the rule that we need, let's go back to the problem at hand. So we are looking to find the partial derivative of this function with respect to y. So this is going to be equal to, we have that constant 2 out in front, and we're differentiating our exponential. So we can think of our x here as that base a. So we have the original exponential function, which is x raised to the 5y, multiplied by the derivative of the exponent. So that's going to be 5 times 1. So we're just left with 5. Multiplied by the natural logarithm of the base. So that's the natural log of x. And of course, we want to rewrite our answer here so it looks a little nicer. We can say that our partial derivative of the function with respect to y is 2 times 5 or 10 times x raised to the 5y multiplied by the natural logarithm of x. And so this is our beautiful final answer for the partial derivative of the function with respect to y.